Hi, Pierre. How are you? Hey, David. Vince. Good to see you. So my name is Pierre DeBoss. I'm a uh, real estate attorney and founding partner of a 30-attorney boutique firm in Midtown called Romer DeBoss. We specialize in all aspects of commercial and residential transactions, leasing, finance, development, and litigation. My partner, Michael Romer, and I have been um, active participants in the Expo for close to 10 years. And we find it to be a very fruitful experience in terms of branding, exposure, talking to leading people in the industry, seeing clients, referral sources, and just general networking. Um, it's a great group, and Anthony every year, you know, just keeps t increasing how tremendous an event this actually is. Yeah, Anthony is quite unique, and he's very unusual. But I got to tell you something: I love him to death, and he does a great job. Um, but you know, you said it's a great networking place to to be for our industry, but it's also a great learning place. So, I mean, I go into some of these sessions, and I hear things sometimes for the first time, and I think I've been around for a while; I should not be hearing something for the first time. But we learn every day. Let me ask you about the, the, the market today from your perspective on the law side. Mm -hmm. Where is the market right now and where do you predict it's going to be in the next 12 months or so? You know, now is a very challenging time because we've been in a slowdown in the real estate market, both commercial and residential, since the end of 2016. So we're in a three, three consecutive years of a declining market. So one with the conventional wisdom would lead you to believe the market should start picking up next year. And then you have several major factors like interest rates being at a 12-month low, unemployment being, or sorry, interest rates being at a three-year low, I should say, um, unemployment being at a 50-year low, and the stock market still maintaining record levels. So those fundamental factors should bode well for the real estate market, just we're you know, entering into an election year next year, which regardless, especially in today's day and age, is not, doing, is not helping consumer confidence. So I expect the market to start picking up um, you know, gradually starting next year, and I'm hoping 2021 and forward to start seeing a you know, so I would agree with that 100%. Uh, so what what have you seen as far as the, the increases in mansion tax this year? Mm -hmm. I know in my personal business as a real estate agent, you know, people have become a little squeamish on some of these higher numbers now. It's no longer a flat 1%. Right. It graduates up to 4 and 5%. What are you seeing with that in your particular, you know, lay of the land. Well, I'm seeing now, you know, buyers are looking for any opportunity to negotiate. And the market's been more, is more negotiable now than it's been in 10 years, from my experience. And especially when you're having additional, you know, taxes, which you can call onerous, when, you know, the mansion tax can go up to 3.9% of a price. It's a rather substantial closing cost to have to incur. Um, in new development, I'm seeing developers pick up more closing costs to defray the increase in the mansion tax. Um, in resales, I'm not, you know, it hasn't been really discussed in negotiations from my perspective, um, but it's definitely impacting the market. I think it's a learning curve, and like anything else, especially on the resale side, as you say, uh, it's, it's, it's some education that the sellers need to be informed about, and hopefully slowly it will get there. I agree with you on the, the prediction for next year, and let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that 2021 is a good year. Sounds good. Great Pierre, to nice see you. to see you. Thanks Thank for you. coming. Thanks for having okay. me today.